Yeah, Chris Carmichael, I'm the Innovation Manager at British Airways, which means I get to play with all of the new technology, all the new social trends, anything that's going on outside and uh, bring it in. So if it's shiny and fun, that's my job. It's terrible. Um, what I want to talk to you about today is uh, really just our experience over the last few years on mobile, what it's meant for a big brand like British Airways, which is you know, quite traditional, we like our grey colours, um, bringing them back into the mobile world. Um, it started for BA on mobile back in 2000, the mobile internet, remember this? Really cool looking phone, do I look like Keanu? <laughs> no. It was great. We were there. We had our mobile uh, check-in service. You could select your seats. It was great. Um, the market just wasn't ready for it, though. So it doesn't matter how much money was being spent on advertising, how much hype there was in the market. The product was a bit slow. It was a bit difficult to use. 2001, we switched it back off again. And that kind of affected us for a number of years because that was quite a lot of money and maybe this mobile stuff isn't for us, maybe it isn't right for travel. But then this sort of thing started to happen. We started looking at mobile users uh, using our traditional website, and we could see that, uh, yeah, actually, there was a bit of growth. And when it snowed, there was a hell of a lot of growth. Um, so that, that gave us the little impetus to, to get back into things. And when you think about it, our customers are mobile. They aren't sitting behind a PC, they're not sitting in an office. When they're working with BA, when they're with us, they're on the way to or from an airport, going somewhere nice and exciting and having a, a great trip with us, hopefully. Um, right to the stage that the mobile is probably the last thing that gets switched off um, as you're hurtling down the runway. You know, people are trying to keep them on for the last possible second. Um, and that's changing as well. So this is the interior of our A318 aircraft that's flying out of London City. Has anybody used this one yet? City to New York? One, great. Should use it, it's great. Um, it's an absolute bargain, you know, for what you're getting. Straight in there. You clear customs in Ireland, so the aircraft, London City, is quite small. You can't take off with a full load of fuel to get you all the way to New York. So they stopped for a couple of, uh, well, stopped for about 40 minutes in uh, Shannon while we're refilling the aircraft to make sure you get it all the way over, which is good. Um, we let you go through customs in Shannon. So you actually arrive in New York as uh, an internal flight and you can walk straight out the door, which is really, really good. Um, and you can keep your phone on the entire time. So we've got connectivity. You can do your emails, you can get text messages, all that great stuff, um, which. I would absolutely hate, but uh, I like sitting back, drinking champagne and watching films when I'm on a plane, but uh, yeah, it's there if you want it. So how did we decide what we were going to do in mobile? It's dead easy for us. Our head office is about three quarters of a mile from Terminal 5 at Heathrow. I walked over there with my team, wandered around to say, right, okay, we're doing Androids next. Let's find some people with Android phones in front of them. Um, we disturbed them, we asked them questions, we asked them what they did, what sort of things they were interested in, uh, in doing, what their experience had been today, and they told us. And we used that to design the uh, process for them. So this is a little video of what uh, some of the BA mobile process actually is today. Now you can check in with just your phone. And download your boarding pass with a simple touch. Now all your flight information is a glance away. And terminal maps are in the palm of your hand. So you can easily find your way around the airport. Now you can get an alert when the gate is open so you've more time to enjoy the journey. Now, you can have it all. Find out more at ba.com forward slash apps. That's the type of experience that we're trying to build for our customers. It's very, very seamless. You download the app, 
You log in once, the phone knows everything about you. Um, the video is kind of a very slick way of showing what it is, but um, this is really what's going on behind it. Um, so this is the iPhone screen. As I say, you log in once and the rest of the app is then going to rotate around your travel needs. So the base concept is everything that you need next is available to you. You've logged in, this is your next flight, going to New York in this case. We're telling you that your flight is still on time. Now occasionally things happen which means flights do get delayed. Um, generally not our fault, you know, we'll blame the snow, we'll blame the weather, we'll blame the airport authority. Um, but things do change. It's going to change from the t published time that we um, gave you when we bought the ticket, which may have been six months ago. So we'll make sure that that's always available to you. We'll tell you which gate number to go to. So, I mean, I don't know about you guys, but today standing in front of the uh, display boards at the airport is actually getting quite difficult. So many airlines with so many partnerships. You know, you know you're on the BA001, but you're watching the Iberia version of that flight number and the American Airlines version of the flight number and the Qantas version of the flight number, scrolling through amongst all of the other flights that are on the board, trying to find your flight. Dead easy of your mobile, it's just there. Um, with very contextual buttons, so today this screen is showing show boarding pass. That's all related to the time that um, you have got or uh, relevant to when your, your flight is. So this means that you are within 24 hours and you've already checked in. If you hadn't checked in, it would tell you to check in. Um, if it was a few days before, there might be some other information you may have to add. And then the most interesting one is the little box at the bottom. I'm just about to see. Upgrade to business class. Really worth doing. This is my pension here. Yeah? We've made this very, very slick as well. Um, for the mobile channel for us, we're really trying to take anything difficult out of it. Too many uh, transactions, too many uses of the keyboard. So it's three clicks, enter your CVV number off of the back of your credit card, and you've just bought yourself an upgrade. So the next time that you're standing in the airport terminal, you can see all of the screaming kids that are just about to get on your 12-hour flight. That's the button to use. We've given our customers um, their club information. So the, the recognition of the customer was very, very important to us um, to the stage that we actually use different colors on the uh, screens depending on the, the tier status in our executive club, our frequent flyer club. Um, but we give them access to all of their information as well. And then the bit that everybody likes is the boarding pass. Um, once you start using this, you forget all about paper. You know, you turn up to an airport with your passport and your mobile phone, and there's the opportunity for convergence. You know, can I get the passport on there as well? You know, I just want to walk around with this one little device. Um, I almost missed a flight uh, on another airline a couple of weeks ago because I've just got so used to walking into an airport and walking straight through that I forgot I had to go and use the check-in machine and retrieve my ticket, and it was a bit of a rush. Really good if you've uh, not used it, it's worth trying. So how did we get this out there? This is a mobile marketing event, so I thought I would talk about the marketing that went into it. We had a big launch event. Um, it helps being a very big brand. Uh, people are quite often interested in what you're telling them, and when you invite some of the press and some of your uh, um, staff and customers along, they do come along. So we did uh, two sessions, uh, told people what we were uh, going to do, ask them for their input for the, the next versions, uh, very, very positive. And then we put some of those comments up onto YouTube so that people could actually see we were reacting to what they were saying and gave them a channel to come back to us and tell us more. We've done lots of traditional PR as well. We had stuff all over BA.com. Um, web advertising is quite cheap when you own the website. Put it in the in-flight magazine. Um, Great publication. You're right here somewhere, Matt. Um, and then quite a lot of commentary on our social channels as well. Um, that all went quite well, but we also did a few more experimental things. So this uh, picture down the bottom, that's uh, three separate screenshots from uh, a little piece that we did with Microsoft on their Windows 7 handsets. And we showed how we could use some of the gaming technology, 3D technology, to actually um, 
look at things like seat choosing and selling upgrades. So again, more PR. Yes, this doesn't exist quite yet. I can certainly give a demo to anybody that wants to see it later. I've got it running on a phone. But this is the type of thing that's uh, reminded people that BA are out there, that we're still trying to do innovative things based around the customer and trying to make that experience a little bit better. So where we are today, we're on four separate OSs. We're on Android, BlackBerry, Windows, and iPhone. And we're making money at last. Um, we're selling upgrades. We're selling tickets. And um, you know, it's early days in that respect. I don't think we've quite got the model right there, but we're definitely heading in the right direction. We are um, well over 80%. I think it's actually over 85% of flights are now accepting mobile boarding pass. So you know, when we launched, there was a little bit of kickback because BMI had been doing mobile boarding passes for a number of years. Lufthansa had been doing it for a number of years. We seemed quite late to the game. Um, I think we were late for a good reason. We've done it well, personal opinion. Um, we've made it very simple. It's two clicks to get through BA's process. You click on the app to launch it. You click on the boarding pass button, which will be there because, you, as I said, it's time um, planned. So you know we know that you should be at the airport by that stage. Um, and then we rolled it out very quickly. So a number of airlines that started early took quite a long time to get any mass of flights and you know it meant that your customers were looking for which flights they could actually use it on and would they use it today and actually I won't bother. So I think we're well over 85% flights, all flights out of the UK apart from one. Um, the London City one I mentioned earlier, rules about US domestic flights are preventing us on that at the moment. Um, but most of the flights inbound are there as well. And our customers like it, that's the best thing about all of this. Um, there's a little quote, this wasn't a customer quote, but it was from a publication. I so enjoy the functions of the airlines app that I will routinely book with them instead of another company. I put that in my uh, end of year review last year. <laughs> I said, look, you give me a small amount of money, we've done this great thing, and people are actually buying because of it. That's the very positive thing that we got.